Hello everyone and welcome back to Susa Place where it's time for our first game of the playoffs in the Cripple Cup 10. Uh, team was looking good, no injuries, no damage this cup so far. Uh, I actually uh, habitually just threw away the money I got from the administrated win in our third game last time. And uh, Cookie leveled up, I got Frenzy. We have a Frenzy guy who can perhaps protect against uh, people going too close to the lines. All the habit there. And our first game is going to be against Skaven, that are lower team value than us. Guitar is a pretty good coach. Missing a Storm Vermin, that's helpful. There's a Niggled Gutter Runner. Three legs. And a Niggled Lineman. Old as love. And another injured lineman with movement 6. 13 players, 4 strength linemen, that's going to be tough to deal with. Uh, 5 agility gutter runner, it was a pain. Oops. Okay, let's not uh, fiddle around with that. And uh, there we go, it starts. Uh, so I'm gonna I'm gonna get one babe. We're not gonna be able to get anything else until the end of the cup here, and it's single knockout format, so we can't lose any games. They are going to be overtime. Glart Smash Junior, that four strength storm vermin with claw. Not mighty blow though, and a babe. So there we are. That means we are facing 14 players. We have 13. It's going to be tough getting through all of them. And they're going to be rats. And rats are really, really tough to beat when you're Chaos. Unless they, their armor just fails, like the Norse we played earlier in this tournament. Let's say hello. Looks like regular nice weather. 15 minutes of Nickel. There's Blood Smasher Jr. with his special green claw. And. No wizard, right? Well, it's that at least. First game we're not facing a wizard. He starts on defense, which is sensible. Although, also, could mean that he's gonna take a couple of losses here early on. You don't want to get Glart blitzed. This 4 strength line could be a good target. I think I'm gonna go for a Minotaur hit. Blitz on Glart with our claw. Uh, the wrestle guy should come on instead of Maybe not. Instead of the Dodger, does he get tackled? You okay, know, the Dodger stays on. We need some more guys to punch some rats here. You and you come up. You as well. You are going to be receiving. We need more players back here. In fact, yes. Something in this vein, I think, is good. Right. No rerolls, no apothecaries. My kick means we get a free shot catching it. I will take my best shot. It is very sunny, actually. So the passing rolls are gonna have a minus one. But we caught the ball, and that's fine with me. So let's get over to this side. I will keep my players kind of tight around where the ball is going to be. And I will start punching. Now let's see, I want to go that way, so this guy gets a punch from here. Oh well, that's the end of our turn. 
That's a terrible time to roll double skulls because that was our most important turn of the game. The first turn where we had a chance to remove some rats on our kickoff. Well, now we're going to feel the wrath of uh, Glart Smasher Jr. with his claw. And Juggernauts. So he's a very good blitzer. First block for the rats is injury on Charlotte, our beastman. And our only tackle is gonna lose movement allowance. So that's the first real injury we've taken this tournament. Oh, carry gets blitzed. With two die. Gonna use Glart for extra damage. Gets the ball loose. Can choose the result. I think I would have chosen the other one to get the ball to bounce in a more accessible location. It did bounce the right way. Gutter Runner is going to go for the pickup. It's the agility Gutter Runner. He can pick up in two tackle zones. Yes. And then he's off. And that's how you lose a game against rats. No tackler left. Throws a pass. And now he should be easily available able to uh, to uh, cage this up. Oh, and the rat ogre moves without uh, any help. Didn't even have to use his blitz. Dodge there. Not exactly sure why you're going down. Perhaps he wants to score early on. Alright. Well, we could actually get a blitz on the ball here. It takes a bit of doing. I don't think I will be blitzing with you. I might hit with Glart. I might actually need to do that the other way. So let's take the, the best rolls we have here. A push isn't the worst. This I need to be a push and actually randomly I don't need it to be a removal. Oh, it wasn't a push. That means I can't do this as I was hoping to push him out. I can still do it, but it's not going to do me much good to have him here, because the, the gutter runner is just going to run away anyway. Nice to get some damage done. Knockout. Fair enough. Uh, I think I want to blitz Glart Smash Rip here. For a claw hit. No damage. Let's go for a foul. Dirty player is tied up, he's not going to be able to do anything. So a 3 plus on guard. No dice. Let's tie this up. could break through here and be pretty much gone, so we'll see. No real pressure on the ball, but I am tying up two of the line rest pretty well. These two can step away from me without too much trouble. Goes for the blitz. It's the pow. And second on the break for the rats. Daisy is dead. Too bad. Block lineman. Down two. Still have a full team for the rest of the Cripple Cup, but I think our win chances are now gone. And I spent. I actually moved that guy over there. That might not have been a smart idea if he's going to the sideline cage here. There goes the ball. 
Wouldn't it be nice if we put this other, gu other gutter under here by mistake? No, it's not going to fall for that. It's going to prevent us from going around here. Just for an easy, easy touchdown. This gutter runner comes around. Lord can stand up. I don't think he wants to. Maybe he dodges Glart, yeah. Well, we're taking this hit though. This is a three die, so I think he'd want to take that. Might be concerned about his rat ogre being served. But that won't happen unless he. Salt here, just a stun there. Lucky. Nice. And the line rat manages to dodge as well. the line that stays down. Now we do have a chance to surf this guy. But I have no no way to stop him from scoring here if he wants to score next turn. That is already gonna happen. I'm gonna come down here just to perhaps stop him a little bit. I think we go for the surf. Uh, what else can we do? Bring in a guy here. Tag some players. Perhaps killer here. Won't really stop anyone. Tie up Glart with our warriors. It is going to be 3 die into 3 die. I'll move him after so I can put him here. It's going to be 2 GFIs. Hopefully we can stomach that. We can choose to go down. Can he do it? Can I niggle gutter runner? No. He will go out anyway. Come on, niggle gutter runner into the crowds. He's injured, so he's out for the game. At least something. Now, let me see. He can actually surf the ogre with four strength here. I need to be here. Protect. And the ogre will only go there. I think we're good. Maybe this guy could have come around. I had to put him in a few more seconds. So he's probably just going to run it in after taking whatever two die block he can make. That's a one die. He might not want that. Ah, oh, he can make it a two die. If we lose a Chaos Warrior here, it would be pretty bad. These two I can probably spare. Since they're just beastmen. Oh, he's not even going to make the two die block. Well, fair enough. If only our Minotaur had the uh, Pentacles. And a man team scores the first touchdown, but probably not the last. We didn't manage to get one gutter runner out of it, and his line rat there didn't wake up. So, well, he still has a full team. We still have a full team. Let's go again. Same procedure as last time. And you go up here. You go up here. We will try to blitz this guy. If we don't have the same thing happen as last time, of course. And he gets an extra reroll. That's bad. We don't want rerolls on this game, and now we can do even more crazy stuff. That's not where I want him. Let's go there. Let's bring this guy back. Pickup's gonna be one thing we want to try. Maybe we want to do that first, just because we're playing against Skaven. Ooh, not a double one. Perfect. I'm gonna stay there and hope that the gutter runners don't brave the way through there. Good. Perhaps some damage. It can be so kind. No. 
this guy. No. It's actually a bit of a problem. I think I have to follow that. Minnow block for three. Gets the king of strats. Knocked him out. That's helpful. We can bring this guy back to be a protection for our screen. You come out here. And then we put pressure on this rat. But not so much that we are forced to take a hit in return. I choose if I want to push him away, but if he goes down, I'd rather have him there. Good, come on, remove him. Yes, well, RG4 is knocked out. We're going to need a lot of removals if we are to get anything good happening this game. Maybe him up here to maybe force the blitz on him. Or at least, we're not really forcing a dodge out of this gutter runner. But, uh, hopefully enough of a screen that his gutter runners can't go straight for the ball carrier. There's only two gutter runners left, I think. No, there's three. They're allowed over four. I don't think they have many restrictions on the scaling team in this format. So it looks like he is going to commit the two assists to make this block. No, wrestler. Mm, okay, Rat Ogre moves again without blitzing. Rat Ogre has break tackles, so we need to worry about that. What's the power on Clarabelle? What a. Blitzable gutter runner. Here comes Glart with the assist. Onto our warrior. Who now has armor 7 for this. It's a POW. And it is. Have a break. Knocked out. That's terrible. At least we have a hit on Glart, but. It's not going to be a very good hit. Just a two strength guy. We're going to commit a lot of players to that. Maybe we can blitz him with, uh, you know. He's going to put more pressure, perhaps. Just thinking about it. Okay, he's going to dodge through the line with his agility guy. Well, that's not the agility guy, but it's two heads. He can go everywhere, anywhere he wants. We have no tackle. We have no block, really. <laughs> Our only blocker got killed. On the got to at least. He still has a he has a reroll, so we could have rerolled that. I think we will try to re uh, blitz, blitz this gutter runner to block. Don't need claw. Can have a follow up block too. So if it works, ball's going to be around here. So let's put you over there and see if you want to move. Oh, you do. That's good. So, let's bring this guy without blocking the path we want to take. Let's go there. And you come around here. Actually, I won't be able to take them both down, so let's go this way. Let's have a boat down. But it's actually good enough for our purpose here. One, two, three, four, five, six. That should do it. You come up here. You go straight into the cage. Stand up here. Dodge you. To here. Where you will take a hit from another gutter runner, but that's fine. If that gutter runner is dead. Not uh, running straight into the cage. The rat ogre could dodge into the cage here, but it's still, even with five agility, that would be a uh, three plus, four plus dodge? I think it's a four plus dodge. This would be a two plus, this would be a three plus, this would be a four plus, yes.
and it's currently just a one die on the ball, which is probably not good enough to try. We could tie this guy up and go for it. Then this guy recovers, hands off to him, who scores. But it looks like he's going for the hit up here instead. Kilwatt is coming back. If we can get 1-1 one, one out of this, then the rats score early, then maybe we can get a 2-2. Two, two. And uh, perhaps win the coin toss in overtime. I think that's our best bet right now, but we have to score in 3 from here. And not in 2, because then the rats can one-turn us. The rats are still going to get a one-turn opportunity, of course. But a two-turn opportunity is just a wild animal that helps. That helps. You can do that as many times as you want. And a double skull. Well, lightning goes down. We now have a hit on this gutter runner, and if that's a success, a wrestle or a knockdown, we can actually move the cage up here. Although there is a bit of need for some help that. This thanks. Um okay, let's take it. Oh, pro wrestle. No, it's a gut runner, you can't really do anything else then. Um so we'll push here. Let's go towards the side. Could blitz his rat ogre. Sending our minnow up there. The same with block, I don't think that will happen. Maybe we'll stay where we are and we'll knock this guy down. Uh oh. Maybe we need to blitz that guy now. Do we do it with Claw Mighty Blow or do we do it with the Minnow who can get the 3 die? I think we do it with Claw Mighty Blow. So you go over here to cover that corner. Good. Maybe. It's an armor break. Knockouts. They only get knockouts, they can all wake up and ruin us second half. No advancement for our cage. This looks very rough. Couldn't really go forward there without risking all of it. Still have a, maybe a chance for this guy. Maybe we'll be able to outnumber him on one of the sides. He's gonna hit us with a gutter runner. Lock. Wrestle? Yeah, he has blocks. There's no reason not to take Wrestle here. Nice foul target. Another dirty player yet. No, he's there. Rat Ogre goes wild again. We didn't blitz with him. He's gonna blitz with Glart on our only Dodger. But he doesn't have block, so he goes down. Didn't break us. Okay, I think we go for the hit here and then the cage. Oh. oh no. Okay, so we're gonna have to blitz him if we don't move the cage up. Are we even going to be able to? No. Can't do it that way. We have to go this way. Crazy but true. We could actually surf this guy with a blitz. We get a push here. He goes there. But if we get a pow, I'll take it because we're using Mighty Blow. So I'm not going to dodge anybody. But we are going to have to put up. 
the safest of cages. We are going to have to have someone tag the rat ogres. We can surface here. One, two, three, four, five, six. Can I go further? Could go there, but that's probably not advisable. Put you there. Probably not where Rat Ogre can get you. You tag the Rat Ogre. Uh, I've already blitzed. So can you come up here? But you can come up here. Actually, you come up here. Then I'm gonna foul with this guy. Lodge got to runner with two assists. Definitely worth it. Foul player, uh, dirty player as well. We are risking a player for the next half if we get sent off. Oh, just this time. But we didn't get caught, so that's that. And that gut runner is now not helping him on the last turn here. So he has break tackle, but this means he can't break tackle again to get to a ball carrier. He could blitz here. But, uh, Six movement. Okay, that's a one GFI to surface. Could be worth it. This guy could get through here maybe. We have four tackle zones on both these spots. This actually has five tackle zones. Get in our way. Definitely something he wants to do. Can he get a guy up here as well? Can definitely cover the angle play. Just a dodge to get up there. Yeah, it's going to be very, very, very tough to score. Here comes the blitz. Go there and then there. It's maybe not once. Oh, someone in scoring range. So if we drop the ball, which you can like to do. Ooh, he failed. Uh, the, the dodge, even with break time. Okay. So. One, two, three, four, five, six. We need to get rid of him and push him away in such a way that we can't do that. Frenzy guy's here though, so we can get two pushes. Maybe. We are going to have to dodge rounds at least to get through there. Can you? We can get up there. Uh, I'll take a hit on him with wrestle. It's fire. Fair enough. Uh, so the push and then the push, push and knockdown. Actually, no. Then I would be in my own way. Oh, that's perfect, actually, because now I do this. And all we have to do is one GFI. Nothing else. Just one GFI. Made it. Okay. I'm feeling better now. So we managed to to get through and get an equalizer on our own drive. Now the wake-up rolls are going to be important. We got ours back. Thank you. How about his four? Three of them get back. Ooh. Well, we have ourselves a game on our hands. Set one. Also set up one. I'll try to Get a little bit of a better setup here. You go on the line, you go on the line, you stay on the line. We need to, to cover the sides here for sure. Do Mino on the line? Uh, probably not. I guess the Mino goes here. And then we have a weak guy out there. Strong presence in the middle. I 
actually going to go a bit back so he doesn't immediately score on us. How many rats in the field? 4, 6, 11. So they have a full team, we have a full team. But uh, we are at our limits. They have only a line rat and a gutter runner missing. Two heads gutter runner out. We are lacking a tackle guy and a block. No reroll anymore for our opponent. Oh, never mind, it's turn 8 and I'm stupid. I should have set up to prevent the one turner, not to the second half here. Oh boy, this is going to be an easy one turner for him now. Actually, he needs two pushes. Yeah, that shouldn't be a problem. He spent his reroll as well, he could have used it here. Oh, I can't believe I missed that. Should have set up a one turn defense. All ends up in his hands. He needs a push here. We even have a dodge on the line, but he's not even going to use it. Gets the push. Lord is going to have a three die to push this guy up here. Oh, he's going to use the Rat Ogre. Might as well, I guess. So one push. To push, he takes the knockdown. He takes the what? Oh, he failed. He left a gap. Can he still do it? He's one short. This push. If he covered these two squares, he could push this guy into him. He'd need to cover this as well. He needs to cover these three. And then he could push from here, into him, into him, into him, into there. And then from there, then dodge and score. And he gets the ball. But he's not gonna do it. Ooh, we got lucky there. He should have used Glart, then he could have moved someone for the second push. Or used this guy for the second push. Um, it's a turnover, so do not use wrestling. Yes! The king is rat is injured, we got a removal. And our guy's fine. Good. Good use of not wrestling. I did it of course to end his turn and also because he had seven armor, we had eight. So he's going to be full team anyway, so, since he gets another line. Okay, now this setup should be pretty good. Do I want to go 4 strength, 5 strength on the line? Probably not. He's just going to run around them anyway. He can have the hits on those linemen. Okay, he's going to go for the frenzy hit. Glot might go for the minnow. Glot might go down here or here, actually. He gets this knocked down. Lock on this guy is probably his best bet. Although these guys are just as dangerous to most of his players. The only one who actually benefits is Glart and this guy and the Rat Ogre. Those are the only ones we can use Claw. Nice weather. So no more passing problems. The head rats. It could have helped us a little bit, but I guess. No, no reason to, for him to have those penalties. Looking for any interesting names. I don't know exactly what he's named after. Uh, it is the Minotaur who gets the claw love from Lodge Matthew Jr. Goes down. Sort of a foul, maybe? Looks like it. Lord would be in danger if he goes there. He would also be in danger there. Not as much danger there since we just have two strength on Marge. A dirty player. We'd love to get rid of something important. Okay, looks like the ball's going out there. Maybe we can blitz Lord then. And uh, put up a screen.
ideally in this half we force him to score early or make him drop the ball of course but that's probably not happening hmm sending the minotaur in there it doesn't really do much for us okay the line's going down it's a bit of a frenzy fight with his rat over now he's probably still taking it yep it's a three die it's a pal and the dodge goes down We still blitz Glart with our claw. That would stop it, but it's two GFIs. It's gonna foul the Minotaur after all. It is. The ruling is. Our rank into injury, into no send off. Niggling injury on the Minotaur. Uh oh. The team's going down in flames. That's two permanent injuries. And there's nothing we can do about it because we can't fire that player, of course. It's just a cripple. So let's instead bring down these players. Maybe keep one guy over here so he can't side switch us easily. And we are going to blitz Glark Smasher Jr. I will take this red die off the bridge. Uh this guy probably comes around, but maybe we can save a step. We do this first. I won't follow up on this. Maybe I should have moved someone else behind first. It is a pal. So we have that. But, of course, Claw Mighty Blow isn't really doing much. Let's at least put a cage here. And instead of dodging, we will take this punch. It's a double pile, which is pretty nice. Come on, move on. Oh well. Well, they don't have a, as easy of a way past us. But being down a player, and it being our Minotaur as well, is going to hurt for this half. When you down players against Skaven, you usually can't do anything about them scoring. But he's gonna side shift on us. Cage up over there, perhaps send some guys down here. He went over to the other side. Maybe I should have kept him over in the middle just to prevent stuff like this. So, where is he blitzing? Could take a shot at on Marge, not the most lucrative target. He used his blitz to stand up his rat ogre. Easier. Now the Rattle is on the ground. Maybe we can get our Dodger player there. He's gonna go for our ball carry with Glart. It's another pal. Glart is going to be served here. No, no, he's sensible enough. Oh well, Glart might still be served from there. Gets a got to run us through. Let's see, these are still free to move. Is that going to save Glarch? Well, yes, unfortunately. No, he's not up, but I still can't get through. In order to surf Glart, I would have to get this guy onto him somehow. Well, since you're not going anywhere else, you can go here. I think maybe blitzing here would be sensible. Let's be extra sensible. He doesn't have anyone with frenzy in range, since the tickler is down. Uh, there would be a good spot for him, and he can get there. Actually, just get there. And you can come around to here, maybe. 
I don't want him side shifting on me again. So I will blitz here. You come up here. It leaves the middle right open though. Let's do something about that. We could have a two guy there. I don't really want that. Let's put this guy, this guy in a little bit of a protected spot. And then we do this. Movement eight, movement six, lineman goes down with injury. Crycore Dynamo is going to be bad punch. This maybe he might get a punch there, but if I stand there, it's not going to be as good. I think he's going to go for the side shift on us again. So maybe this is just a dodge to here. Right, is he going to come down with two assists down here? Is he just going to go for a Glock Blitz? He's going to go for a three die Glock Blitz. And then he's somehow going to relay the ball to here. This is going to be the key linchpin of his uh, drive. Is to relay the ball from here to here on this turn. Gets the knockdown. Okay. Uh, ball carrier is down, not injured. Might foul that. It's going to tie up our our dirt player again. So how do you do this? Dodge, dodge, pass. It's a shame that it's suddenly... Oh, he double won the dodge! What an opportunity! We now have a path through. We don't have anyone good to pick up the ball on. But we have plenty of players. So we want to secure this. We want to make that block. You should definitely come up. And I think you are going to mark the rat over. We don't want him getting in there too easily. Uh, this might be a dodge later on. Let's put our frenzy here. This could be a two die with a little bit of help. This could be our blitz. If I go this way... No, I want to blitz this guy until he goes out. So instead, who picks up the ball? I think we want it on the strength guy. So you come up to here. You hit. Wait a minute, this is stupid. No, no, right. I wanted to blitz, to blitz the. Yeah, do that. Stay on the ball. Now you should pick the ball up. Okay, I'll just take this thing. That's good. Please break. Yes. You pick the ball up. First take this. Push. Okay, it's not a push, but that means we get the other guy back. So you can come up and stop this guy from participating. And now you pick the ball up. Shame and it bounces loose with that first thing, so we re reach it. Oh, too bad. If it bounced this way, we would still have been fine. Well, not too easily. He can reach it, but he can't really get away from there. He could get there and pass it, of course. Or when he stands up again without help. He has had a few uh, wild animals, but he stood up more than I can. Really. Oh, uh, really stand for. Okay, so we made that the three die. It's another armor break, but this one's fine. The Lord is not going up there. Here comes the three plus pickup. No reroll. It's a success. Dodge and GFI. Two one pluses. Uh, two pluses. They're good. The pass. Second GFI. It's good. And the pass is good. Saves the catch and the touch. Alright, but that gives us a lot of time at least. It's not gonna score. It's gonna stall it. Uh oh. Can we actually do something about this? Not 
Should I not go for this pickup here? Maybe it would have been better. Uh, we can go to here, which gets us missed by Glart. Oh, he still us again. If he doesn't stand up here, we might be able to do something. He still has his blitz, actually. He's going to use that here to knock us down, and then we can't do that. And we are removed at least. But, yeah. We are probably going to look at three turns to, stall, uh, to tie this. Which is going to be terrible. Let's try to tie this guy up. Can't afford to dodge here. Maybe I went too hard on that loose ball, but I thought that was our chance. You come down here. Do blitz him, probably. Definitely do this. Should we blitz uh, the rat over here? Might be a good idea. You come down then to here. Let's get the rat over on the ground. Good. No other break, because he's tough like that. Let's mark you so you can't do anything. Let's have you mark Glart. Can you do that? Two GFIs. Let's have this guy come down. Don't need to make GFIs. And then you... Mark Glart. You can. No, you cannot. Dead. He is knocked out. That's terrible. Now we're down two. Scoring quickly on the rats. Ooh, looks very, very tough. But if we can get four turns, then maybe. I mean, the rats are also lacking two. Maybe. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Only one if they get their knockout back. I guess the same situation as us. Looks like he's not going for a score. Ah, he wants a 3 die with Glock on our killer. That might be beneficial. Would have loved to see a triple skull, but... There we go, our killer is okay. Okay, so we're going to have four turns against these rats. So we can get an equalizer, and maybe, maybe we can have a, an overtime where we could persevere. Rough times, though. We got our knockout back, so we're telling. They got no knockout back, so they're nine. Makes it a little bit better. But it's still gonna be pretty risky. We're probably gonna have to roll some crazy dice. No Minotaur. Even one more guy on the line, actually. So four strength going there? No, rather the storm ramen, I see. So we claw hit the storm ramen, and do we claw blitz or smash it? Oh, Tessa. Oh, um, no fireball. And we hit with mighty blow where we can. I think we claw hit on the line and then we take maybe a blitz. Uh, I probably want someone better than you up front. Uh, but yeah, let's go with this. It is extra reroll for both of us. Okay. Well, that's nice. We are definitely going to use it. We need it. Maybe not use it, but we are going to need it. Take the ball, take the line hits. Close, but we have not. Good, very good. Love this. Good. Okay. I use wrestle to hit this guy. Go up, feel as far as I can. 
as I can there. Put the ball here for now. Maybe if this is a failure, I should watch out. Can we actually make it? Uh, no, not if we want to blitz over here. So it's going to be a two die. I should take it. It's just a push. Could force him to blitz here. And also pretend that we're going down this side a little bit. And then blitz here and maybe go that side instead. Looks down here will be nice. It is nice. Oh, nice, nice, nice. Oh, this is done. Still good. Or nice, as you would say. Uh, I think I'll go here. Could move this guy up for a little bit of presence on this side. See, now he has to decide which side he wants to stop us from going. We have open space here, open space here. It's going to be a little bit difficult for him to get out of here. I guess he blitzes here. But he's still... Well, I guess he can still get up here if we move here next time. Three turns to go. Would rather not score in two, but better score in two than not score at all. He still has his five agility gutter runner that can dodge into our cage and make things difficult. And the other gutter runner with dauntless extra head can do the same actually. Lord blitzes for a three die on our dodger. It is a knockdown again. He's been making these three dies, he's been using claw. He hasn't really gotten the removals, although the two early ones were really good, and of course, foul on the ogre. And that rat ogre keeps moving without a wild animal. That's going to be tough. Uh, we could blitz that. We could actually get an assist and blitz that. Fail dodge would be nice if it was a turnover. Well, it's a turnover, but it would be nice if it was an injury. One, two, three, four, five, six. We can get to here with the ball, but if we want to do that, we want to first deal with the rat over. We're gonna have to blitz from here, so this is a little bit dangerous with the double skulls. I'll stand this guy up, but hopefully he occupies some of the rats. This has been awesome removal, of course. We got him, but we didn't get the space, and we didn't manage to hurt him. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six. It's a GFI to to uh, to uh, stomp on him. Do we do that? Do you come up to here? One, two, three, four, five, six. I guess the ball is going to have to stay. Could be super, super risky. Do that. Bring this guy around to here. Some guys behind. Maybe I should have fouled with him. I fouled with the killer. Uh, put him a bit behind here. Okay, this is going to be very, very scary. Two GFIs to foul. Otherwise, his rat over gets a shot at the wall. We got through. We should break armor here. Send off not too, too bad. Could be even nice if we could save our... Oh, yes, we got him. And we didn't get sent off. We even out the odds there. Oh, he loses armor value as well. <laughs> so he did it to our minnow. Our minnow lost... Uh, got a niggling injury. And we lost, it made him a armor 7. Rat over. So either one who goes on here is going to have a tough time in the rest of it. Alright. If we can score without using our reroll, of course we will have that for the uh, overtime if needed. It's the dirty player, just gets a push. Can follow in there to force us uh, 
take a block. But it's also... Oh, he's gonna get blocked anyway, maybe. So, perhaps not too bad. I guess he wants to blitz our killer. No, he gets a... 4 plus dodge onto the ball carrier for a red die. Triple skull for Notch Mashbridge Jr. Into no injury, but still, that's great. We should be able to get the ball into a cage up there now. Okay, so first order of business, this guy needs to go away from our ball carrier. Don't need to do anything else. If this fails, I'd rather have my players where they are right now. Oh, okay. Our blitz have been destroyed for us. Can we make it a three die? Not with us. We still have people left to uh, to cover. Gutterers can get up there. He didn't use his reroll for that. And this would make it a three die. I think we, we take this now. Because this. This. Uh, this will be necessary. So, how far up can we get now? To here. Yes, that's a good. Good one to be at. You go there. Wait, that's too far. Is it? No, you can get next to him. Good. Um, we will. If we commit someone. Make it difficult for the guys to just dodge through people. That's, I think that's the most important thing here. Uh, we can have a two diamonds for strength. I think that's pretty good as well. That's a one die. Because I'm stupid. But we get the two die follow up. From our two strength. Two strength versus four strength. Remove. Okay, good. Do we want to dodge out of this? I don't think so. Right. Too easy for the five agility. To mark us. Ooh, we failed one of them. Is he gonna go for another? The Dauntless one goes straight through now. To here. It's a 5 plus dodge. Now it's a 4 plus dodge. Oh, that's better. That's a 1 die on the ball. Did you roll a, a 1 there? Ah, oh, no. We got away and Dauntless and 2 die and he gets it. So now we're gonna have to try and pick that up somehow. Or maybe even get it from him first. Ball does not go out. Shouldn't have taken this hit, so I should have put more players around here. He just left it too open. Oh, he has to make two GFIs to tag the ball. Excellent. Okay. That would help him. Four seconds left, makes the dodge. GFI is good. We can get a guy through there, but we're gonna have to trust Napal on his uh, gutter runner. I could make it a three die, that's probably better. I take this, run up here, list from here for a three die for a push, pick it up. Yeah, that's the play. Uh, we don't wanna make anything else, do we? I'll take the block hit. Some pushes. Okay, who else here has block? No one that we want to take. Okay, so we have the block hit here. Can we make it better? Plus one, plus two. We can't get anyone else, so it's only going to be a two die. I can't get in there, I just realized. Can I get around? One, two, three, four, five, six. It's two GFIs. I'm gonna have to make it uh, with a two die down. Actually, let's take a three die on this gut round first. 
Right. We have a reroll though. We are going to have to commit it here, of course. Only push needed. Got the push. And we need not a double one on the pickup. Phew. All right. There we are. It's going to overtime. All is going to be decided on this coin flip, I think. If he wins the coin flip, we're not going to be able to stop him from scoring. If we win the coin flip, we should have a decent shot. No one wakes up. Uh, every knockout is going to come back. So these two, even though he failed the knockout draw there, they're probably in this. And the coin flip is... Yes, we get to receive the ball. Phew. That's a good boon. As you can see, the knockouts still come back because it's over time. So, there are nine rats between us and a victory. We have ten players and a reroll. Of course, the first time is going to be crucial. We definitely need to pick up the ball. Spreads out his line this time. Allowing me to perhaps... Perhaps even blitz a large smash loop. But I'm uh, going... There's no more r rat ogre. So let's make sure that we protect against the blitz completely. Confirm the setup. Kick is high, low, and then we will try to catch it. Very nice. All right, so um, bring this guy in here. There's no rush. We have eight times to score. I'm gonna make a cage around here. Fouling might be something in the cards for us. But I don't want to give up a shot at the ball. So I think I'll pull this guy over here. Just to make sure that if something is a double skull we don't uh, get punished completely. Alright. How? Get rid of him. Oh. Every rat bomb is a step in the right direction here. Ow. Oh. Rid of him. Yes. Yes. Just a stun. Gently. Do we still go for the Blitz and Glock Smash rate? I think so. So we take this hit instead. It's a push. That's fine. I'll keep my Strength Warrior tying up this guy there. And you come in here for the assist. There will not be a foul I'm willing to take, so I'll bring this guy up here just for extra protection. And then we go for a two guy on Glart with the claw mighty blow. It's a push, definitely not re-rollable. Just push him off the side. Stay there and then we dodge back behind the line. Okay. Not the best first turn, but I'll take a poor, poor uh, first turn versus not losing the the coin flip, which means the rats would receive. Because uh, you know, stopping agility five gutter runners from scoring is not very easy, especially without tackle. So he's gonna hope that we get some bad dice, probably. Removals are probably not even going to matter much anymore. Unless it's someone crucial. Like our our ball carrier. Or maybe his Dauntless. The Dauntless one is probably the best shot at getting at the ball. Lord is going to hit a warrior. 
That's a pal. A little bit of weakness in the middle, and no, oh, if the cowboy is dead, oh no, we lose a level 3 warrior. Oh boy. So, no warrior down a beastman. I can't remember what happened to the other beastman, but I think it was also a... Yeah, that was a, that was a movement injury. So all these four are not going to be in the next level. And there are mostly high-level opponents left. Okay, well this is going to be difficult. This guy's in the way, we can't really uh, make a cage in here. I might be able to make a cage here if I blitz him, but I'd rather blitz uh, Glart. Uh, let's make a cage right here for now. Let's use our wrestler for some pressure. Actually, you can be the assist on Glart. Have I found Glart? Not sure about that. Frenzy guy. Should we go up the side? We get some threats up there. This guy I want in the cage. Did you hit Glart. That's the guy he's blitzing with. That's his way into this game. Got him down. Put him there. Break his armor. Yes! We're done. Or Glot is done. Niggling in your own Glot smash it. Okay. That feels better. I'll go here and we'll make a second cage around him. Why not? Beautiful. <clears throat> Although a little bit passive, I would, I would admit. So, 9 Chaos versus 8 Skaven. He's gonna try the cage dive here. From here, I believe. One die on the ball. If he makes the 5 plus dodge. He fails the 5 plus dodge. Come on, get injured. Well. I'll take it. This guy's back up. We can have a hit on him. Uh, probably we go for a wrestle here. No, we should probably just blitz him with enough power. So this needs to be a knockdown, it is. Ooh, well, that helps. Although, again... We have four, four players. We can get through here. This would make for a 3 die block with block on his 5 agility. Fair enough. I will stay where I am. We shall bring our killer up here. A ball carrier into the middle. Four. Oop. Let's make that mistake. This guy comes around to block the gutter runner from going in front of us too easily. We still do so with a few dodges, but that's fine. At least there's a chance that they fell them. We go over there, of course. I'll take a two die here, and then I will foul this gutter runner if this is a success, which it is. Very good. Very, very good. Rats are being removed. No long term. Is that the first no long term of the game? Ah, oh, just stay where you are. Dirty player, foul. Break armor at least. Oh, we got him. That's great. Okay, I think we're done now. He shouldn't be able to stop us. But you never know, rats. Five rats, still two gutter runners. A blodger and a five agility dodge piece. But that was a great time for us. It's gonna go for it. This guy ties him up. No, he's blitzing the corner. 
I don't know. Could have gone for the ball. Although it would have been a red die, admittedly. He has a reroll. Could use that for a hit on the ball carrier. He gets us down there, that's pretty nice. We probably want to take a turn here to, uh, to get our other guys caught up so we can thoroughly enjoy our numbers advantage. Got the runners are throwing themselves into the cage. Desperation. Horse. Tying up the killer. We can uh, retreat to this case. We want to be real careful. Two die on him. Blitz here. Can we make it better? We can go in here, blitz here, and go there, there, and take a push. Mm, that's a lot of uh, commitment, though. Actually, is it? We have one, two, yeah, probably too much commitment. So you come up here, and then we have this for a push and I will have a two die on him from here with uh -oh. did I make a mistake here? Mm, yes, I think I did. Because we're gonna need a guy here. Three die, but uh, he's gonna follow because he has frenzy. Uh oh. Yeah, that's a little. Uh oh. Still not good. Wall's free, but we still have to push him. Fair enough. And you come into here. What? I had three seconds left. It was a three on the timer. And I clicked there. But he failed his dodge, uses his reroll, gets the one die. Well, this is terrible. Could cost us the game. That uh, that must have been a glitch because I, I looked at the timer as I did it. Okay, three seconds left. So if that lands in rat territory, we're doomed. Okay, it's two of our tackle zones. Still a chance, but he picks it up on a on a three plus. Well, that's... Uh, I'm a bit annoyed about that, because I was well in time there. I don't know, I'll have to watch the video. Maybe maybe I just looked at it wrong. Okay, he double won the dodge, so I can't complain about it. Okay, but now we have to... Uh, we have to... Uh, first of all, make sure not to make any more mistakes. This guy needs to go. This guy needs an assist. He needs two assists, so we, let's just bring in one starters. Nobody else is free, so we need to do this. And uh, that's good. I'll take the push, please. So I'll get some more space on my side of the ball. Also, get rid of another rat, which might actually come in handy, although I would prefer it to be a turn or to lose his strength. It goes his team. This actually needs to be... Push is good enough. Push is good enough. Thank you. Follow that to mark him. Then we... This guy's gonna pick up the ball. You're gonna come up here. Uh, do we blitz? Or do we just push with him? I think we push with him so we have the blitz still. So we got the knockdown. Have it even better. Okay, we knocked him out. And pick it up. Need to uh, care about this guy. I think I'd rather I'd rather do this first. 
Yeah, so I can so I can position myself. Uh oh. Well, things are going terrible. So if he picks it up now, he wins. Should I just skip that? Go here. Probably. That was that was uh, that was silly. Should you just uh, ignore the, the blitz, or just hit this guy and then blitz him afterwards with wrestling? I don't need to remove more guys. I'm gonna try to scatter the ball. Gets it. I will deny him the scatter by taking this. Will I? Yes. Come on, fail, 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 No, no, we're gonna lose. How far can he go? He's gonna toss the ball away from us, for sure. But if I can keep this guy on me, he can, he can dodge, but not, not if he throws the ball here. Oh well, who can move? Everybody who can move get down there. We only have three turns. Uh, I want the three die on him, please. Probably with wrestle. Actually, maybe not with wrestle. So I can. So you go there. You get in his way. Not if we actually do anything. But now we have a three die with block. You stand up here. Not that we're gonna stop this guy. You go out here. Put this guy here. Who picks up the ball? This guy. Our first order of business is to get this guy hopefully under control. Can't do it. We're gonna lose. There's nothing else to do about it. He can't reach the ball and that got the runner picks it up on uh, every opportunity. Unless we can do this, I guess. And let's get this guy upfield. make it a little bit more difficult but I don't think maybe we can catch him if he goes around failed. Okay. So how many turns are left? He has two. We can still score with this guy. We can eliminate him then, we at least have penalty kicks. Uh, so you're gonna blitz down here, you're going to assist. Wait, we need someone in scoring range. Uh, do we have anyone who's better at... This guy's better at picking the ball up. But he's also better at catching the balls. So I think I want him up here. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, he needs to score next time. This needs to happen. This guy. Well. Uh, just in case we fail, and uh, now we need this guy over here. He's not a concern. Some guys to relay. I guess I put you over there. Pick up or blitz first? I think I'll go for the blitz first. Just to make sure he can't score. Thank you. So now we don't have to worry about losing. At least not before the penalty kickoffs. Um, so pick it up. We have a guy in range. No one can reach us. Yes. 
I'll make this pass now. Or will I? One, two, three, four, five, six. It's a three plus two plus if I don't do this. If I do this, it's a three plus, and I still have a three plus three plus two plus to do it next turn. If I make it, I can make it a two plus this turn to be done with it. Come on, clock. Well, it doesn't matter. It's gonna be a two plus to win. That was my bad, I took uh, a little bit too long to think about that. Oh, come on, don't do that. That would be so rude. Oh, thank you. <laughs> oh. I guess we do this, just so if there's a if he drops it and it scatters back to him, we can still win. Let's not run out of time though. And let's not block him. That would be super super dumb. Okay, that was way too exciting for me. Hope you guys thought it was just enough exciting. Well, we should win with two rats left on the field. Uh, three actually, but still. And uh, lots of money. I'm going to have two or more, uh, more SPP. Let's have a quick look at the stats. 58 blocks versus 34, 6 knockouts, 6 injuries. Lots of SPP for both teams. I validate it. So, uh, <clears throat> thank you very much for watching, I'm going to end the video, I forgot about uh, that, and uh, it looks like our next game is right on, so it's going to be Lizards next, so we'll see that in our next video, thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you next time.